Hi guys, welcome to the Mark of Modern Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add the tile entity with inventory today. So, it's really easy. Well, it's not really easy, it's a big one. But, first thing you want to do is change this to a block container. So, what a container is, it basically just has the slot stuff. So, just import this. So, we've already got the method down here, but it just says that it's a container. So, yay. And then, tile entity, you want to go into here. And you want to make it implement I inventory. Press control space. And that's going to make you want to make a ton of methods, which we're not going to do. We're going to just do this manually. So the first thing that you want to do is have a private item stack array, and it's going to be called inventory. So that's basically your inventory. And we're also going to have a string for the custom name, so private string custom name. So, we want to add a constructor. So, if you just do this, hit, and you just want to initialize the inventory by doing this.inventory is equal to a new item stack array, and the size of the array is in fact going to be this dot get size inventory just like this just make sure this is capital s we're actually going to be implementing this method later on but that should be fine it shouldn't error so we just initialize this and you just want to make a get and set a method for the custom name so get custom name generate that set custom name generate that there we go that's really simple so now we want to add some methods. So the first one is get name. This is an override method. And basically, all we've got to do is in here. So we're going to check whether it has a custom name. And if it does, it's going to be the custom name. If it doesn't, it's going to be the other one. So this dot has custom name custom name I can't control space for some reason this dot has custom name and it's going to check if this is true it's going to return this dot custom name if it is false however it's going to return container container dot mini underscore chest and there we go, that's the get name method. Now we want to do has custom name. So that method just above that we called this method here. And it's going to be this dot custom name is not equal to nothing. So it's not nothing. And this dot custom name dot equals that. That's basically going to say whether it's got a custom name or not. Now we want to get the display name. So just get display name. And again, we've got to fill this in. So it's going to check whether it has a custom name. So this dot has custom name. And it's going to, if it does, it's going to return a new chat component and component text. This dot get name but if it hasn't is going to be a new chat component translation and it's just going to take in this dot get name and I don't know why it's got another argument get rid of that and save so we've added those methods now we want to add a get size inventory method so that's how big your inventory is so how many slots I'm only gonna have one slot to so say a chest has got 27 slots um, a furnace has got three I'm just gonna have one because I'm gonna have one slot so then now you want to add two methods which you can get from the description of this video free actually and it just get stack and slot decrease stack slice and set inventory slot contents so just get it from that text file in the description and there you go that's just gonna 
just do that for us we don't really need to like bother about them and then want to add inventory stack get inventory stack limit so how many like how many items did stack and it's going to be 64 for me yay so um, we want to do a is usable by player method as well so we just got to fill in all of these to, just to make sure this works and it's going to return this dot world object dot get tile entity at this dot get pause and it's going to check is this equal to this and is player dot get distance squared this dot pass dot add uh, that one 0 0.5 0.5 0.5 and then you want to check whether this is smaller than or equal to 64 now to be fair honest I don't entirely get that but um, that that will work for you and um, basically you want to add two more methods open inventory which we're not going to do anything in here and close inventory which you're not going to do anything here but you have to have it otherwise it will error for some reason and you want to do a is item valid for slot so is item valid for slot slot for slot and I'm just going to return true so every item can go in this mini chest you want to add some get field a get field method and it's just going to return zero because we're not going to have any fields and we're going to set field and that's not going to do anything in there also going to have a get field count which is going to return zero and yeah we're going to add a clear method so clear which is going to clear our inventory which is really simple it's just a for loop for for int i is equal to zero i is smaller than this dot get size inventory and then i plus plus and then you're going to open it up and it's we don't actually need to open it up this is a neat trick with coding if you just press enter here and it's all it's got to do because it's only going to run one line of code this to set inventory slot contents for slot i to nothing really simple that's all that we need to do in the clear method so again now text file we're going to got a read and write from mbt which is basically just going to read and write from mbt basically what we did last time so we're going to have a tag list which just stores a slot stores a stack and that's going to be called items and just got the custom name so then we want to in fact go and it's erroring why, why you error add unimplemented methods remove stack from slot okay so the reason it is erroring we forgot well, I forgot to add this method and I accidentally deleted it. So here we go. Remove stack from slot and you see that we've got no errors. So yay, that's what we want to see. So we've just going to block mini chest. We're going to, in fact, add a new method. So it's break block. So this is just going to make it so it drops the items. But we don't need to do it like this. No, no, no. We can be lazy. We can just copy and paste these methods from here. Now, um, if you're going to use it, you want to just import this, change this to your tile entity, and that will, in fact, do that. Just import this here, and you should see that it works. Now, we can't actually test this directly. We have to use a hopper to test this, but let's just check it works, I guess. So let's wait for the game to load up. Okay, so the game is loaded up, and I forgot to say, in 1.8.9 is this method in 1.8 is actually called get 
stack from slot on closing so it's the same stuff in here to just rename the method but we can in fact test this out so let's go to our test world and see whether this works fingers crossed everyone so we have a what um for some reason it hasn't got a texture and i know why and the reason why it hasn't got a texture is in fact because we need to add this method hit so get render type now so just want to put free here that's because we're going to use a model file if you want to do a tile entity special render it's two but you probably don't know what that is if it's a liquid it's one and if it's not going to render at all it's minus one so let's just run the game and we should see it looks correct okay so the game is loaded up so if we just go into our test world we should see the tile entity will have a render now yes like so and the way to test this is in fact by going into your inventory searching hopper and then if you just go get a hopper shift so make sure it's facing in six of these and you see that it's going in to nothing yay we would break it and you see we got 14 cobblestone and we had 57 to begin with so we can in fact see that it works at least and if you want to just proof yeah these two aren't connected if i shove in i don't know a stack of cobblestone should see them come up here which has gone through this and out through that really cool stuff i guess so i want to say thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you want to do the block container that is the next tutorial and then it's a gui for my mini chest and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am out don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial so yeah go check them out